So you guys have had a, a couple of the same teammates, and I got two of your teammates that I'd like to talk about. The first one is Pat Bev. Oh, man. Talk a little bit about that Pat Bev effect and what it's like playing with him. We've heard it from P. Uh, and just from your experience with him, how how have you enjoyed Pat <laughs> Bev as a teammate? Man, he's special. He's special as a player, as a person. You know, just he's a winner, and um, he breathes winning, you know, and, and it's great that his competitive juices fly that much because in practice and stuff, it pushes you to another level. Um, and I I like I he's one of those guys. Of course, I've always seen him from afar. Like he, you hate to play against him, but then you would love if he was your teammate. Mm-hmm. And I I couldn't have been more right. You know, mm-hmm. you love playing with him. You hate seeing him on the court against you because you know he's just a pest and he's annoying as hell. But <laughs> but he's just he's yeah. one of those dudes that like whatever you say he, he lacks in size or he he lacks in skill, whatever he makes it up totally just by being himself yep. and, and being like that kind of that energy. You need as leader too. Yeah, uh, that that is Pat all the way. That that is very because Pat is a he's a winner. Like yeah. he's a winner. That motherfucker wants to win. win. He's about uh, anything, the right bro. shit at all times. Bro, I've seen this man play video games that he has no idea what the controls are. Talking about, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Like, yeah, bro, don't worry bro, about you it. Got to fucking press the controller figured, right now. I figured this motherfucker yeah, out. That's don't what worry. He says, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, gang. I figured this shit out. And he gang. put money on it too. He'd be like, Yeah, I'll whip your yeah. ass in this. hundred dollars. That man picking up the controller. Like, what the fuck is this and shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, Pat is ultra competitive. I remember. Uh, we were playing Dallas, and this motherfucker had his own, like, uh, <laughs> basically, like, game plan or sure. scouting report sure. on Dallas, and he sent it to me, like, <laughs> he sent me, like, uh, Tim Hardaway Jr., like, look, look, gang, this is, uh, he don't like doing this, he don't like doing that, like, just, just crowd him he here. He would do that like, shit with us, too. <laughs> that's how locked in Pat B., like. Pat that really locked be in. locked. That is one person I say like I heard him say it. He probably like in a one percentile, two percentile cast is locked in. No, he's locked in for sure. Pat, I mean Pat is locked in at all times. Pat, Pat comes to our it's little shoot rounds. He'll come to the shoot rounds and be like, um, he'll be like, yeah, we're gonna do this on woo woo woo. I'm just what whoever it may be. He'd be like. Nah, we're going to send him this, this, and this. Facts. And the coaches be like, Facts. no, That's no, no. Pat. We made a game plan. Well, coach, he's 13% going this way, so we're going <laughs> to do that shit. And then he, <laughs> you, know, you know how it always ends. That's Pat. Pat. And then Pat goes, and the coach be like, well, we spent all this time. We made this game plan. We're going to follow this. And if, you know, things change in the game, we're that's not right, coach. But you the coach, so I. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's Pat. Pat, no, that's Pat. And he get mad. He, and you know he, you know he got his his dreads be all the. <laughs> and he just walk away. <laughs> and he's like, what? That's not right. That's not right, gang. That's not right, that's not gang. Right. But you the coach. You right. You right. You right. So, bro, that's Pat. Bro, Pat. I'm trying to tell you. When he says locked in, he's locked. He was playing. In. Who? Who else? Funny ass moment. I think it was we, we was playing Phoenix, and we talking matchups. And they go book. I got that motherfucker out of nowhere. He, he be that tight, yeah. Yeah, like I, I got that motherfucker. We like, all right, shit, say less, <laughs> <laughs> save us the trouble, yeah. shit. And he just had the whole game plan, like, yeah, I forced that motherfucker right. He don't like to go left. Two dribble pull ups. He gonna pump fake, try to step through. I'm gonna stay down. He's, I'm gonna stay down, gang, because I ain't trying to get like in, he just bro. went through a whole checklist he's before we in. even played this motherfucker of how he's gonna play. <laughs> Bro, he's yeah, locked Pat. in, bro. He's locked the fuck yeah. in, bro. Nah, he there ain't no that, plan. Shout out Pat, man. He be locked. So I know that's that meme that's floating around with you and Demarcus. Like, <laughs> like how much? That's just how funny, much do bro. you hate that meme? I think it's funny. I, I'm a person who likes to laugh at myself, so I, I'm a yeah. jokester. So I, I, if you don't like laughing at yourself, then obviously you lack self confidence. So yeah. I think that's super funny. But I remember that game too, also going nuts i remember i was i was balling that game so, so you was going crazy i was balling i for sure was balling it was it was a it was a good game for me for that, sure that mean it looked like you hit a brick wall right <laughs> a man stood there like this yeah. too like i look like i was giving all my might i can hear it to marcus now it may be at me I, I, I remember i knew i had 30 something I, I knew i had something going so i don't remember what happened i don't know what that moment was yeah. i really really i really should go back and look at it like in the game what was that move was it a step back was it a spin you I spent probably off was keeping it simple i probably was hitting him in the chest yeah. getting to my Big little body. spot getting to my right hook over the left shoulder okay i don't i don't remember exactly what y'all bigs happening. out there that's cast go to so be on that shit <laughs> Dude, it's a, it was in y'all game plan y'all ain't stopping it so so someone shows me they could do something with it i'm gonna keep going to it i don't remember what happened but i just knew that 
man, I really, I remember when I was a rookie, I remember DeMarcus Cousins was on the Kings and, and they were like, yo, yo, this boy is big. And he was, I mean, DeMarcus Cousins is one of the most talented centers I've seen in a while. Yeah. You know, in a long time, especially his size. I do, I do remember my very confident, still am, but overzealous eyes saying, I got him. Don't worry about it. Man came down full speed. I said, let me take this charge real quick. Oh, that no, was probably no. the worst thing I ever could have done. That man fell right over me. You know, you ever seen that? Just like a train ran yeah, over. No like, grace. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, why did I do that? Why I, my dumb that? ass over here trying to take a charge of DeMarcus. Cousins, bro. Stop. But shout out DeMarcus, man. He's hella. Shout he's out hell of a dude, He's taller than you? No. You taller than No. He's, I, don't, I don't think he is, but he's. I'll tell you one thing. For a lot of the shit he gets as a as a player, he's a hell of a person, man. Hell of a person. Hell of a he person. He was a great, great teammate. player. Great hell teammate. Of a teammate. He was with us the he was, right the twenty twenty one year. Yeah, no, nah, he's a hell. Uh, of a, he's a hell of a player. He was with us. Yeah, hell of a dude, man. Funny as hell. I wish I wish we could get to see him in the league, man. Like. That man's so and he talks shit to he, everybody. Oh, my God. He talks shit to everybody. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. It's like, practice, funny. he talking shit. Like, I think people he get, talks like, shit to I think, everybody. I think we're also in a softer era, though, of, like, social yeah. media and stuff. So when he does his thing, like, it comes it, off differently than it did when he was, like, on the Kings and stuff. You know what I'm yeah, trying to say? Like, yeah. we, we don't accept people, uh, like I mean, it's it's just a tough rap that he got on him. Like, people just associate him and, and tag him with this bad character shit when he played but honestly like Shit, I, I know, enjoyed I, know how that I enjoyed being teammates with him <laughs> i know because he was just it was it was passion bro like yeah. he played nah, from a he, whole different level of game, passion he loved the game he loved the game loved the he game. loved to who loved the game. he gonna give you everything he got everything it's gonna it, it it might come off a certain way but like you appreciate it you know you know you know what i'm trying to say there's too many you appreciate circles. him there's for too being many him circles in the nba not to know who he is like, right as a person as a player right Whatever he is on the court, I mean, everyone I feel like has kind of their alter ego. That when they step on the court, it's right. just it's it, they're different. That's exactly what it is. You it's know what alter ego because he's totally ego. different. Off no, the court. he's not cool the same off the court. He's cool as hell off the court. Cool as hell. Super like wants to help people out. Mm-hmm. Super caring guy. Mm-hmm. I know he comes off looking like he don't give a fuck about nobody, and he really care about everybody. Yeah, great vet. I yeah, mean, I, sure. I remember he had like. Great moments, especially in that playoff run. He had great moments of just He's a special being player. supportive and like helping the young guys. He's out. special, bro. He's a special player. Yeah. All right, Jackie, it's time to check in on our picks again. Shh. It's playoff times, man. It's getting serious right now. I got to focus. I just won big thanks to Jamal Murray and the Joker beating their projections. How'd you do this week? There you go again. You know I'm up as always. And people don't even know what we're talking about, man. Let the people know we're talking about prize picks. So Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app where you pick two to six players like the video on your screen, then pick if they will have more or less than their Prize Picks projection. You aren't competing against other people. It's just you versus the projections available. So, Jackie, tell me about an entry that you won on this week. All I did is, 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 is projected that Stephen Curry was going to get more points than he was projected to get in Jimmy Butler. Just did the same thing. I've just picked more and more because that's all it was. And you know what? I know how much money I won, too. (laughs) But tell the prize pick people how much they can win. So you can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. And on top of that, all first-time users that deposit and use our promo code PODCASTP will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. That means if you deposit $20, prize picks will give you $20. If you deposit $100, prize picks will give you $100. Cha-ching! Cha-ching.